good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always told, out of voice of radio, so today I can tell you what the pre-release promos are going to be for Temporal Forces. I can't show them to you yet, and that's actually, like, legitimately super annoying, but I can tell you what they're going to be. And I can tell you it's the best set of pre-release promos we've had for a while. I'm convinced it's the best set of pre-release promos we've had in the Sword and Shield era. And yes, I will show my work in a moment. So let's start off by asking how I know what they're going to be. And the answer to that is actually really simple. Basically, Pokemon, every so often, they update the list of upcoming promo cards and tell us when they're going to be legal. And I don't have time to get into a huge debate into exactly where every single one of these promos is coming from. But there's only four there that we haven't seen before. Like, for instance, Sprigatito EX and Pikachu are blatantly coming from the Paldea Adventure Chest, as an example. Uh, we can have a look there and say that Clefa and Cyclazar are our free pack blister promos from Temporal Forces. Every one of those promos is from a product I have previously shown you except for four of them, which just so happened to be a run of four right in front of all of the promo cards for Temporal Forces. For Alligator, Metang, Coridon, and Maridon. They all become legal on the same day that Temporal Forces becomes legal, and all of the promos for Temporal Forces become legal, other than Carvana, of course, which is an alternate art promo. That's one of our one-pack blister promos. So because that's already out with a different artwork, that one becomes legal on release. All the others become legal on the 5th of April. So, look, I, this is the point in the video where I should say, well, there's a chance it's not there blatantly then. You've literally got the random promos... Then this run of four, then the Temporal Forces promos. We know how this works by now. Those are the Temporal Forces promos. And I'm telling you, this is a really, 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 really good set of four promos. I'm also going to tell you that for Alligator is by far the worst. And, and I do mean by far the worst. Sorry, but it's really not even that close. Now, for Alligator is fine. Two energy, 160, can't use it next turn. But the ability says, once during your turn, you may put five damage counters on this Pokemon. If you do, this Pokemon's attacks deal 120 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon this turn. So you can hit for 280. In standard format, we're going to look at this and we're going to go, you know what, it's, it's a stage two, it's not going to work. But this could legit be a beast in pre-release format. Obviously, these cards have all been released in Japan. They were all in Cyber Judge and Wild Force. So we've seen them. We know what they are. I, I told you all about Temporal Forces the other day and where the cards are coming from, which is how we know I've got the right cards here. And I'm telling you, this for Alligator is awesome in sealed format. Because in a pre-release, right, if you get this out, you're hitting 160 and basically one hit KO in every turn. And if your opponent's doing that annoying thing where, hey, I pulled an EX, so I'm just making my entire deck this EX and a bunch of energy, well, 280 will get all but stage 2 EXs. And even stage 2 EXs, you soften them up a little bit and Fralligator will finish them off. So it's the worst one, although I do think Fralligator's awesome as a Pokemon. But the thing is, when we actually sit in a pre-release format, this is kind of cool. Now, the third best one here is Metang. And when we talked about the set when it came out in Japan, I told you that Metang was way better than Metagross. And it is. And Pokemon clearly agree with us because they haven't given us a Metagross pre-release promo. They've given us a Metang pre-release promo. As they should have done. As a fun little side note, two of these are from Wild Force and two of them are from Cyber Judge. I find that amusing. So Metang here, great Pokemon, it's got the ability Metal Maker. Once during your turn, you may look at the top four cards of your deck and attach any number of basic metal energy you find there to your Pokemon in any way you like. It is a once per turn, it sits on the bench and accelerates energy every single turn. And I don't know if this is going to make stuff like Copperaja busted. It's honestly probably not. But I love Copperaja, and I did actually get the reveal of Copperaja 
may or may not have requested it. Do love that big elephant. And I love it. I love it so much. And we've not had good energy acceleration so far. And I'm not saying this is going to be the thing that breaks it wide open. But I am saying it's the best chance we've had since Copperage got revealed. Since it came out in Powder Air Evolved, this is the best chance we've had. You would better believe I am psyched for this. This is awesome. So look, they're actually really good pre-release promos. The Metang is very good. The Fraligator is great in a limited format. I'm not saying it's going to be good in standard. It's not. But then they've given us the big boys. Now, I'm not picking between them. When we get the artwork and I do my standard video where I rank them, I will pick between them. But we're getting Coridon and Maridon, and let's start off with Coridon. Now, one important point about Coridon, which I think we all need to acknowledge at the outset, it is going to be extremely difficult for the pre-release promo to have better artwork. This Coridon is stunning. And as a fun little side note, Coridon's artwork is done by T-Zero, and T-Zero is the artist who did the trio of ancient Pokemon. The special illustration rares. Which I think is fantastic. T-Zero knocking out the part with his ancient Pokemon this set. So just on the outskirts, it's going to be really hard to beat. But then you've got, I mean, free energy, 130. It's not affected by any effects on your opponent's active. Maybe that's going to be actually be relevant at some point. You never know. But generally speaking, it's a first attack. Two energy, 30 damage for each of your ancient Pokemon in play. And look, all you need to do is drop Professor Sada's Vitality and you've got this going turn one, going second. That is not difficult to do. Now, realistically, you're rarely actually going to be hitting for 180. You're going to have some support Pokemon. You're probably going to be looking more in the region of 120. If I've got a single prize Pokemon, which incidentally hits a great weakness, because hitting weakness on Lightning, on Colorless, and on some Darkness, ones that are poison in the video game. If I'm hitting a great weakness and doing 120, turn one going second before my opponent's had either an attack or a turn to evolve, that sounds good. Like, I'm not that worried about doing 180. When I'm looking at Coridon, I'm not thinking the best case scenario here. I'm not thinking, hey, I have to do 180 turn one going second for this to be good. No, 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 no. I'm looking at Coridon and I'm just like, 120. If I can consistently make a deck that can hit 120 turn one going second with this, I'm going to win a lot of games the time I start building in some other ancient Pokemon. Nah, legit, love it. But then we got Maridon. When there's going to be a lot of you out there that are going to be going, wossy, wossy, wossy. I know you're loving all these ancient, that's adorable. But Maridon, mate. Maridon's where it's at. Maridon is another phenomenal Pokemon. And what we've got here is, I mean, free energy 160, nobody really cares. You're, you're going to rarely use that, all right? But single energy, 40 damage, and you get to search your deck for two basic energy and attach them to your future Pokemon in any way you like. And the only downside of this attack, because it's basic Pokemon, single colorless energy, could not be easy to use. The only downside of this attack is that 40 damage isn't terribly relevant. You really need to be hitting 80. 80 damage is when you're starting to get evolving basics and support Pokemon. 80 damage is the magic number you need to be hitting here. Well, Future Boost Energy Capsule does an extra 20. And we're getting Iron Crown, which does an extra 20 with its ability for all your future Pokemon's attacks. And will stack. So either two Iron Crown or one Iron Crown and a Future Boost Energy Capsule. And then, yeah, you're doing 80 turn one going second. Which isn't as much you're probably going to do a Coridon. But you're also accelerating two energy while you do so. And when Maridon works, you're literally KOing. A small Pokemon, evolving basic, support Pokemon, things like that. While accelerating energy, it is ridiculously good. The fact that we're getting both Coridon and Miraidon is absolutely ridiculous. Them alone would make this the best set of pre-release promos we've had in Scarlet and Violet. And let's not forget, we're also getting Metang, which is a legit Pokemon. Yes, and for Raligator. And when I say it's the best set of pre-release promos we've had, I mean that really sincerely. Like, 
Gerardon and Maridon are both legit Pokemon, which we know are seeing play in Japan. They are both great. So let's just take it as a standard. Those two are awesome, right? The best two in Scarlet and Violet, you're talking Rev of Room and Horlucha. Rev of Room, decent draw engine, not really seeing any play. Horlucha's been a nice little tech here and there. But Temporal Forces wins by a mile, right? Paldea Evolved. Now, in Paldea Evolved, we did have Baxcalibur, which is phenomenal and has Kato artwork. No argument there. But then we have Murkrow as, like, the second best. And look, I know United Wings made top 64 at regional, and that was adorable. But let's not pretend United Wings has proven to be a top deck. Sorry about that. Uh, Obsidian Flames, I'm going to be honest. Like, we had the Okacheke Togekiss, which I adore artwork-wise. But none of them have been even remotely playable. Like, the Obsidian Flames, all four of them have proven to be very unplayable cards. So, I'm just showing you the Okacheke Togekiss because of the artwork. And then in, like, Paradox Rift, I'm still convinced the Zartu is going to be good. Because it can accelerate energy while drawing cards, but it's not really seeing any play. And then maybe Iron Bundle? Maybe? But even that's not really getting played right now. So, honestly, the most competition we've got for best pre-release promos is Powder Air Evolved with Baxcalibur and Murkrow. And Karidon, Ryden and Metang win by a mile! So, when I say these are the best pre-release promos in the Scarlet and Violet era, that's not me just kind of clickbait or grandstand or anything like that. I mean it very sincerely, and it's not even close. So there we go. But now I want to hear from you guys. Which of these are you excited about? Which of these are you going to be picking up? Go nuts in the comment section, but be nice! And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi. That's where we talk about Pokemon and a whole bunch of other card games. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio, where you can support the channel, get some bonus podcasts, join a Discord, and all kinds of fun things. And get shoutouts on the channel like the lovely William Shaw, who's been a supporter of ours for a while now and is a very lovely person. So shout out to them for the support and the loveliness. But by far the most important thing is always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.